Hey folks, Mike here. Welcome to the first episode of my little Superior Drama Tips and Tricks series, which I wanted to start today. Um, the reason for this little series is just because um, I'm using Superior Drama now for quite some time, like two or three years. Uh, a really powerful tool, um, really complex. Um, and though there are a lot of tutorials regarding the software, I just wanted to make to create a little series with some like four or five minute videos um, giving you some tips, some practical tips using the software. And in this first episode, I want to talk about the panning of the symbols. Um, as you know, I've loaded up the avatar library that comes with Superior Drama, which was recorded in the avatar studios in New York. Um, the symbols, though they provide a bunch of symbols, especially with the core library, sometimes you may want to uh, place um, a symbol, um, for instance, this Chinese symbol here on the left. Maybe you want to um, that this symbol appears on the right side because either for the music production when you're doing some drum production uh, or you play on your e-drum set when you have your china on the right side it's sometimes annoying like when you're hitting a symbol on the right side and you hear the sound basically from the from the left side and by default there's no way within superior drama to change that um, you can just change the mono microphones uh, for the panning. For, ex uh, for instance, I will just solo the snare drum for the sake of this example. When I hit the snare drum, which is usually usually centered, when I now like change the panning completely to the left or the right, of course you can do that because um, the snare drum, um, the toms, uh, every mono um, uh, instrument has its own mixer channel and you can uh, change the panning perspective um, from those instruments you see um, by default the hi-hat is off, um, already uh, more on the left side uh, the toms from left to right so just would like you would set up your drum set but the cymbals there as they have no individual microphone um, which were uh, the cymbals were recorded in um, you the only thing you could could do by default is to change of course depending of the overheads but you would in that case you would change the complete stereo image or the complete recording of the overhead and this is what not what you want uh, basically um, so there's just one way kind of a turnaround trick uh, so let's say we want to have this 20 inch sabian chinese symbol uh, coming from the right side so you will um, deactivate the symbol so the slot is now grayed out or empty and we will use the x drum feature uh, within Supreme Demo where you can add uh, like in other instruments from either the core library itself or from um, any other expansion if you have someone so we're gonna pick new uh, and we um, going to pick the avatar of course uh, this is the symbol slot one what we talked about and here's the save in Chinese so when we drag it to the right so it's more obvious but when I now hit the symbol you hear it still comes from the left side of course um, so what you can do you can use the microphone assignment function uh, when you use the XDROM feature um, this determines uh, which microphone you can use uh, if you add another uh, instrument. In this case, as it comes from the avatar library, it's quite easy. Um, Superior Drama or Tunchwag highlights the recommended uh, microphones you may want to choose. In this case, the overheads. But as I know, the ambient close stereo microphones um, are set uh, to be enabled. And um, by default, we will pick them too. So just drag them to the line here where it says new. And you see um, there are two new channels that were created. And when you go now to the mixer section down here at the end, you see those two um, channels, um, which like have just the sound of the Chinese symbol. And when, when you go like to the bleeding function within the overhead, for example, you see there's no instrument going on because they were all going here on the common overhead. So this is just the overhead just for that particular um, splash symbol. You see there's just um, the uh, splash symbol enabled, same for the ambient closed microphones for the x drum is just the symbol. So now um, you can do the thing that we wanted to avoid on the common overhead microphone. You can change the stereo image. So of course by default it is set hard left, hard right, so to really get the wide stereo feel. But let's say we want it to be on the right, so we leave the right button here and change from all the left to slightly right. I wouldn't recommend doing completely right because this would sound kind of unnatural for me. Um, so, but may maybe because it's 
quite heavily on the right side, as you see here. Uh, we s may like do like 80% and this one as well. Um, you may, of course, want uh, to check the volume that it kind of matches the volume of your common microphones that you have already used. So when you now go back to the instrument section and you hit the symbol, voila, it's coming from the right side. And you can double check that. Um, this was the original slot. And now you have the symbol on the right side. And of course, um, knowing this feature, you can um, put like any symbol on any position um, that you want. Same for the cowbell. Um, it's placed above the bass bomb, which is kind of a common um, placement for the cowbell. Uh, let's do this um, again, just for the sake of this video. We're going to uh, put the cowbell here, do the microphone assignment, the overhead ambience close. We'll deactivate the cowbell here because I have my cowbell um, right here above my floor toms. Going to the mixer sections, here's the cowbell doing the same, pulling the slider from left to right. So let's say 90%, so it's more obvious. You're here, now you have your cowbell on the left side. So you find, uh, I hope you find this one helpful. If you have any questions regarding this function or if you have any questions regarding Superior Drum in general, some of the expansions, some of the functions you don't understand. If you have some questions about the software you want me to talk about, let me know in the comment section. I will continue doing this series in the next week um, with some other tips. So uh, thanks for watching so far, guys, and see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>